Jack, so we're in for some really, really interesting stuff. Oh, we sure are, Josh. And the girls take to the line for the first board race of the season. And it's very exciting and, and such a strong field there as well. Everyone who's anyone's here. And after the cancellation of the Australian Championships, you've got to think Danielle McKenzie goes into the, as favourite this year. She's the defending Summer of Surf Series champion. She had a really dominant display last year, winning at least three rounds. So the girls are on the line and set to go. Off and away in the first race of the day. A good start from the girls. Naomi Scott in the light blue cap of Manly. The blue board there firing up. Harriet Brown, of course, the world board champion at the moment in the centre of the screen. And it is Naomi Scott closest to us. Danielle McKenzie in the middle. And then at the top of the screen in that earlier shot, it's Lizzie Wellborn on the yellow board racing for North Bondi. Lizzie Wellborn, of course, a medalist at the Australian Championships and she's off to a flyer. Well, Josh, as you said, now we're riding on board with Danielle McKenzie and she is right up the front. But with her are three the young guns. Olivia Heaton from Newport has also joined Naomi Scott and Lizzie Wellborn at the front end. Georgia Miller's there. Oh, the girls sit up and pop through a big whitewash there. So Queenscliff's turning it on and that's just slowed down second and third. But I'll tell you who it hasn't stopped at all. Lizzie Wellborn is off and flying out in front. Harriet Brown and Naomi Scott have gone from second and third to back in the pack. And have a look at the right-hand side there. Lizzie Wellborn is running away with this one. There's at least five board lengths between her and second place with Brielle Cooper from the Currawa Club chasing very, very hard. And Jack, what is it that makes Lizzie Wellborn such a good board paddler? Well, she's got a good length of stroke, Josh. We see her reaching out in front, but she also keeps her bum up nice and high in the air. And what that does is allow her to get over the front of her stroke and pull plenty of water. She did very well to get off the beach extremely quick. When she gets that rating up, she gets the board moving and leaves everyone else behind. Insight from one of the best coaches in the business, Jack Hansen there. And Lizzie Wellborn Wellborn is one of the best board paddlers in the business and she's showing why here and now. Danielle McKenzie chasing hard, coming up into second place alongside Brielle Cooper there. And this is the event that Danielle McKenzie dominated last year. Not only did she win the overall point score, she won by the biggest margin, six points over second place Harriet Brown. So I expect Danielle McKenzie to want to do the same this year. And Harriet Brown obviously wants to get one up over last year. But at the moment, it's all Lizzie Wellborn as she turns for home. And the way the swell is at the moment, I'd expect her to almost immediately find a few runners and that could potentially turn into a wave. Well, she is leading an incredibly talented field, Josh. As you said, Danielle McKenzie, she was the Summer of Surf board champion last year. Harriet Brown, she's the world champion on the board. She's also the Nutrigrain Series Iron Woman champion. So she's, it's a great field of girls and jam-packed full of quality. And, and Lizzie Wellborn is giving them a lesson and showing them how it's done. Oh, well, here we go. The runner turns into a wave and it's a good one as well. If she can get down this, it'll go all the way to the beach. A couple of strokes, sit back and enjoy the ride, Lizzie Wellborn. All that hard work has paid off and a round one first national real estate board win is heading the way of the North Bondi talent, Lizzie Wellborn. Just like that, she's streeted the field and she's going to enjoy the easiest win of her career and the rest of the field's chasing hard at the moment. There's not much on offer. We can see there it's Harriet Brown, Danielle McKenzie, Brielle Cooper's still hanging in there and Georgia Miller's come out of nowhere but it's all smiles for our round one first national real estate women's board race winner Lizzie Wellborn was a class above today and she breaks the tape to take maximum points here and what a summer she set herself up for this year but here we go the race is on for second place Naomi Scott on oh, not happy at all this is why because everyone else is on this wave Rebecca Creedy's down at Danielle McKenzie will get caught so will Harriet Brown so all that work was for nothing and there's at least 10 girls on this wave so we've got a sprint finish here they set themselves to go georgia miller's there on this side as well danielle mckenzie fires up she goes hard at the moment leans back it's a sprint to the line up and away on this side oh a couple stumble in the center miller's got the best of it they're all going hard for the line miller on the left hand side i do not know we'll leave that to the judges jade hardstaff was in the mix nicola rowan was there as well but I'm going to say, oh, Alexandra Fleming from Cronulla just got across the line in third place. So Lizzie Wellborn claims the win. Georgia Miller did very well for a second place there. And Alex Fleming gets her first podium at the Summer of Surf from Cronulla in a blanket finish. Yeah, that race couldn't have panned out better for me. Um, I had a great start and managed to sneak around a couple of waves and then got an epic wave coming on the way in. So, yeah, it was a very... Probably like 
as, as good a race could pan out. Yeah, I'm stoked. I know you're always chasing for that of the perfect race. What did it feel like when you did come over the top of that wave and look behind and see 17 other girls coming down a wave? It's, oh, it was a great relief because everyone in that board field was really good and like the board race is always so hard. So to be on that wave in front and not have to worry about running up the beach and stuff and then seeing that the whole rest of the field was on the wave behind, I was just like, thank God. <laughs> well, on behalf of everyone at Ocean 6, and in particular, First National Real Estate, congratulations and all the best for the summer. Thank you.